Imagine this, you're Joe Flood, a stone-cold hitman, been in the business for years, taken down whoever the bigwigs point you at. But here's the twist. Joe gets a nasty doctor's report, a terminal illness that's going to send him out sooner rather than later. Not wanting to suffer, Joe decides to take control. He hires a mysterious organization to, well, take him out. Now here's where things get messy. Turns out, there's been a mix-up. Joe's all set for his retirement when wham! Good news, bad news situation. The good news, Joe's healthy as a horse. Bad news, the assassins he hired are already on their way. Oops. So now Joe's got to dodge a whole crew of his former colleagues, all wanting to collect that sweet hitman fee. We're talking shootouts in fancy restaurants, car chases that leave a trail of wreckage and enough bullets to rival a war zone. But hey, Joe ain't going down without a fight. This ain't exactly his first rodeo. There's more to this story than just bullets and brawls though. Joe's gotta figure out who messed up the whole doctor thing and why exactly everyone wants him gone. Maybe there's a bigger target on his back than he thought. And hey, there's even a pregnant ex-flame in the mix, which adds a whole new layer of oh crap to the situation. Will Joe clear his name? Will he survive the assassin onslaught? And will he maybe, just maybe, reconnect with his old flame? You'll have to see the movie to find out. The killer's game looks like a wild ride, folks. Dave Bautista as a hitman with a second chance? Sign me up. This one's got action, laughs, and maybe a touch of heart. If you're looking for a movie that'll keep you on the edge of your seat, this is the one. So grab your popcorn, hit the theaters on September 13th, and get ready for The Killer's Game.